Okay, this will be an interesting experimental one once again. See if we can make it look any good. Okay. going to make it not too light okay let's see what we have we have here it is a hot water bottle so yeah one of those and we're interested in the back which shows all these lovely ribbings so we're going to make this into something interesting uh, we're going to make we're going to put this end over here we're going to keep the text up there and we're going to make this into something interesting see we've moved it around let's see if we've made this look good Okay, out it comes. Yeah, that looks interesting. Uh, we could make it into something better. So we're going to use that as a base, as a master copy. And we're just going to switch over to copied paper. I don't know if this is any good. I found this by the side of the road. So I'm not sure how good it is. Uh, I don't know where to put it. I don't know whether to keep it. I'll just put it here. Uh, while I'm doing my demos. I'm sorry I got a bit distracted there. Um, we're going to use this, so we're going to slide this one around and around. Going to make it into something interesting. Uh, going to just move it around. Okay, now it comes. Yeah, that's become a lot more interesting. Uh, wondering if we're going to maybe, maybe we can drop it to 100 and see what we can get from that. So we can get more of the design out of it. So I'm just going to slip and slide it. See if we can make that into an interesting, slightly chaotic piece. Okay, out it comes. Yeah, that looks interesting, uh, these lines, but we are still not got an idea what, what we can use as a for a mirror image. Gonna just do that. Uh, this looks quite interesting. Uh, we're going to make it more, we're going to do another version of this using this. Uh -huh. Yeah, we got a bit stuck there. Hopefully that's a happy accident. Okay, out it comes. Yeah, we've got more of an interesting sort of a pattern happening now. Uh, still haven't got what we want, which is to make a nice uh, mirror image out of it. Um, so we're just going to try that again. Um, just going to put this on the glass differently. And we're just going to move it again. difficult trying to find to get one where there's a really nice 
a pattern that lends itself well to mirror imaging and yeah this looks really nice this looks quite nice I think we could perhaps use this corner and maybe enlarge so I think that looks really quite nice uh, so now I'm just going to switch over to this one and whoops I just pressed a button I didn't want to press yeah, I uh, don't know what happened there, folks. Um, silly, this user interface. It's really quite... Yeah, we don't want that. See, this user interface is a distraction. Uh, and if you don't know what button you pressed, you're going to wonder what the fuck has the machine done. So it's really, it's really a distracting sort of a user interface. It's not the good, not good. Anyway, we're photocopying roughly this section. But yeah, photocopiers are not really well thought out. You get the feeling there, well, the companies are. The companies are huge money-making concerns and they don't show any concern for the environment or the uh, human race. So you get the feeling they're just there to make a profit and nothing else. And they're just such assholes. You just can't see anything good come out of that industry anymore. It's a dreadful indictment, but, you know, we have to fucking acknowledge that things are not looking too good for our environment, like climate change and shit. So I'm wondering where the centre of this job is going to be. So you get the feeling the planet's under a lot of... having a lot of problems. Uh, well, we don't know, but the coronavirus is another issue that we have, um, but... That was, that's not so much a corporate issue, but someone apparently, it was something to do with animals. So yeah, these things happen. We're not living in a perfect world, so we've got to expect there to be a pandemic every now and then in this world. Uh, but there's a lot of worries. People are all worried and people are panicking. Uh, we've got to try and keep our fucking heads a little bit on the level side. Uh, I must admit, I'm concerned about this pandemic myself. I'm trying to keep a level head. I'm trying to live my life uh, the way that I normally would, pretty much, um, with some minor, uh, what's the word, modifications. Like you can't even sit in the um, passenger seat next to the driver anymore on the bus. So the Sydney buses, you can't do that. You can't use the Opal card reader next to the driver. You've got to go to the one further back because the drivers, they're trying to keep the drivers away from the coronavirus threat it's because they have to be amongst people all the time. So, yeah. Uh, but we can't do much. We have to just take the advice from the authorities and do our bit. Uh, but I'm not going to go into, fuck, you don't need... To panic over shit you know we've got to somehow see that something good will happen that things will go back to normal again uh things will improve hopefully in this world uh i'm not afraid of dying folks i'm ready and and if i have to die i'm ready so i'm not scared severely i just thing I, i'm afraid of most is having to self-quarantine or go into lockdown those things I do not want. But this looks nice. I think now we can call this demo quits.